Netflix is pulling back the curtain on just how many hours viewers have spent watching and re-watching all of their favorite shows. In a press call on Tuesday morning, Netflix co-CEO Ted Sarandos and Vice President of Strategy and Analysis Lauren Smith announced that the streamer will begin publishing a twice-yearly engagement report titled What We Watched. The review will reveal the total number of hours viewed for every major title that has accrued over 50,000 hours of viewship, as well as its premiere date and if it was available to watch globally. The company published its first report alongside the announcement which featured information collected from January until June that revealed the unique mix of new and fan-favorite titles that dominated the platform earlier this year. At the top of the list with 812,100,000 hours viewed, that's more than 92,705 years, was the first season of the high-stakes thriller The Night Agent, starring Gabriel Basso, Lucien Buchanan, and Hong Chao. Trailing behind that series, Ginny and Georgia Season 2 secured second place with 665,100,000 hours viewed and K-Drama The Glory took third with 622,800,000 hours. Everyone's favorite Goo Goo Muck Queen, Wednesday Adams, danced her way to Wednesday as 507,700,000 total hours, while Queen Charlotte. A Bridgerton story enticed dear viewers with its high society squabbles and dashing romances for over 503 million hours. The list then rounded out its top 10 with you season 4, 440 million 600,000 hours, telenovela La Reina del Sur season 3, 429 million 600,000 hours without global distribution, Outer Banks season 3, 402 million 500,000 hours, Ginny in Georgia season 1. 302,100,000 hours, and Arnold Schwarzenegger's FUBAR Season 1. 266,200,000 hours. During the call, Smith maintained that success, at an individual title level, is all about whether the movie or TV show thrilled its audience and the size of that audience relative to the economics of the title. We have amazingly successful titles that delight members with both higher and lower hours viewed. The Night Agent at the top is a clear global success, and so are In Place and Rhythm Plus Flow, that both thrilled our French members and appear on this list below the 1,000 mark, she explained. That's the beauty of Netflix. Success can come in all shapes and sizes because our member base is so big and diverse, our recommendations are so great at matching titles to taste, and our fandom is so intense it drives excitement for many different stories. Smith also noted the engagement report is just a snapshot of a period of time and not reflective of cumulative hours viewed. For example, in this report Wednesday looks smaller than The Night Agent, The Glory, or Ginny in Georgia, when it's in fact much bigger, she said. It's our number one most popular English series ever. That's because these titles premiered during this report period, whereas Wednesday premiered two months before. Interestingly, placing 26th on Netflix's list was Shadow and Bone Season 2, which was canceled last month despite being watched for a whopping 192,900,000 hours in the first six months of the year and outranked several other popular Netflix titles that have been greenlit for another season like Emily. In Paris Season 3, 161,100,000 hours. And, more than a decade after its original release, Suits continues to draw in its own solid viewership, with viewers watching 129,100,000 hours of its very first season. At the bottom of the list, each with 100,000 hours viewed, was a collection of documentaries, television shows, and films that had been released throughout the years that weren't distributed globally, including the 1964 Clint Eastwood classic A Fistful of Dollars, 1992's Basic Instinct, and 2014's Jersey Boys.